Alrighty. Welcome back to Unluckiest Burrito Does a Genlock. This is leg two of run eight, and we're playing Pokemon Emerald. I have already transferred over all of the Pokemon that survived the last Elite Four run, and based on our trainer ID, we got Torchic. So, uh, without further ado, let's get right into this. So this is the first boss battle. Uh, it's, it's against Mei. She only has one Pokemon. Uh, this one's actually a pretty easy fight, just because of the fact that she only has one Pokemon. Um, I'm going to end up switching into Lapras, who is really good in basically any game you have him in. Um, Lapras is really great when you can give him an extra move. For example, Thunderbolt, like I gave him, because like the rules say, I'm allowed to give him one move that he's allowed to learn via TM or whatever. So I go and I catch a Poochie, you know. Uh, he is alright, he's good for Intimidate, that's pretty much it. Uh, Linoon is good for HMs, and Lotad is also good for some HMs. Um, he can be pretty decent uh, later on in the game. Wurmple is also kind of alright. It has its places, but uh, not really great. Uh, Lapras is going to go into the first gym and just absolutely destroy everything. Uh, Water Gun, even though it's only 40 base power, uh, Lapras just has has too much too much power behind it. Um, its base stats are pretty high and it's super effective. So it just completely makes easy work of this first gym, and we get to move on. So now I'm about to catch a great team member who some people might ban from their runs, but I think is pretty great. Ninkata, he evolves into Shedinja, who is awesome. Um, he has the ability Wonder Guard, which makes it so that only super effective moves hit, which is super, super useful. Um, for this first Aqua Grunt, Lapras just destroys. I go into this cave and catch a Makuhita, who will be good for Norman's Gym. And then it's time to take on Brawly. So he has a Machop, who gets destroyed by Confusion, because Kadabra is OP. Meditite really can't do anything to, them, anything to me as long as I keep attacking, um, and then Makuhita just gets destroyed. So, easy sweep with Kadabra. Moving on to the next Team Aqua battle. So, uh, this is actually really great, having Lapras with Thunderbolt, because he isn't really affected too much by water type of attacks, and he can just take everything out with Thunderbolt, because most of them are water type or flying types. So that ended up going really well. I go and catch a Gulpin. Um, I don't really think I'm going to use him that much, but you know it's always good to have another team member. And then May 2, which is arguably the hardest fight in the game, uh, Lapras just makes easy work of it. He two shots the Lombre, he one shots the Slugma, and then when Marshtop comes out, he can just body slam him. Um, he can't really Thunderbolt because Marshtop is ground type, but it doesn't even matter in the end. He's just too OP. Then on to your first Wally fight. So Wally has his Ralts, really can't do anything. Once again, Lapras destroys. I go catch an Oddish. Um, he might be useful, I'm not entirely sure. Sometimes he is. And then it's time to go on to Watson. Uh, Watson has a Voltorb. I come out here and lead with Doge and hit him with a flamethrower. He is burnt, so any of his physical attacks like self-destruct. I knew I'd be able to take, and also he was minus one attack because of the Intimidate. I switch into Gloom, and Gloom goes for a Sleep Powder, puts him to sleep, and then I can get a free switch into Hariyama. Hariyama, he can go with Fake Out. It probably would have been better just to do like Arm Thrust or Vital Throw uh, because he was asleep regardless. Um, I get the Unlucky Para there, which is fine. Um, I decide to go with Arm Thrust, see if I can get lucky with a four hit. I don't. I go for it again. Again, get a three hit, um, but I take him out the next time. And then in comes Manectric, and I basically, it's like a four on one right now, so I just need to make sure I don't die. That Shockwave actually does a lot of damage. That was more than I had expected. So I come back into Gloom, and I'm going to see if I can get a Sleep Powder off. And I can, and he goes to sleep. So then I switch into Combuskin, and try to get a double kick in, and I do. I just, I'm just hoping at this point that he stays asleep. Um, Go for another double kick, um, and his berry activates, and I'm just going to try and double kicking him to death, and I end up getting a crit there. I don't know if that crit mattered. I'm going to guess that it probably didn't. I think it would have been close, though, um, and that is Watson down. 
So then I go on to the next route and catch a Numel. I really like Numel. Um, I really like Camerupt. Um, and then I catch a Grimer who, you know, isn't really going to be able to do much just because poison types aren't really great in this game until fairy type exists. Then I go catch a Slugma. Uh, he won't be useful either. He's got two four times weak weaknesses. Swablu is good though, so I, I like that. And then I go into Meteor Falls and I try and catch a Zubat, and I do. I think the play in further runs is going to be to delay my encounter there until I can get a Bagon and then just use Salamence for the Elite Four. Um, but, you know, you live and you learn. Uh, so, this is Maxi, I believe. I lead with Combuskin, get a double kick in, and even though I'm intimidated, it doesn't really matter. This, I have a feeling, is going to be a ground type move, so I swap into. Uh, Lapras, who can just take him out in one water gun, and then I can just Thunderbolt the Zubat. Like I said, Lapras makes quick work of pretty much everything. On to Flannery, the fourth gym. She uses fire types. I lead with Azumarill because it has a little bit of bulk, and um, Bubble Beam has a higher base power than water gun on Lapras. So I can pretty much just solo, uh, solo this gym. Uh, you know, the Bubble Beam isn't exactly taking it out, but it doesn't really matter. And then Torkoal uh, is going to set up a Sunny Day, which powers down my Water-type moves, which is a little bit of a problem. But like I said, we have a little bit more bulk, so I can kind of take it. I get really unlucky there, um, and then get immobilized by Love. Uh, so I figure instead of just sacking Azumarill, I'll switch into Hariyama. And Hariyama has priority fake out. I don't know if that would have killed me, that overheat. Um, I don't think it would because I think I have thick that, thick that. But uh, yeah, so that is that done. On to Norman. Uh, this is where we use our, our favorite guy, Shedinja. Um, not yet, but I get hit with a side beam there, take him out, hit, get hit with a slash, take him out. And then Linoon comes in, and I know that it only has normal type attacks, so it can't hit Shedinja. So I swap in here, and then try and get a Confused Ray on the slot, because I know he can't hit me. Uh, this, I know, is going to be a Faint Attack, because that's the only thing that can hit. Um, I go for a Vital Throw here, and get him low. His, his Berry heals him, and then he goes for a counter, and just destroys me. I forgot he had that move. Um, I guess I'll know for the future. I mean, I'm not too bent out of shape losing Hariyama because as soon as Blaziken evolves, or sorry, Combusken evolves into Blaziken, uh, I'm not really going to be using Hariyama at all. And so here, I know this is going to be a facade, I believe. So I swap back into Shedinja, um, and we kind of do this little dance a couple times. I try and get a Confuse Ray on it so I can get a free swap. Um, so I confuse it, and then I go back into to uh, Blaziken, or uh, Combusken, sorry, and eat the faint attack, and then on the loafing turn, I will hit it with a double kick. And then I know this is not going to be faint attack, so I come back in here, and uh, try and go for a uh, scratch, or I believe a scratch, yes, and he heals with a hyper potion. So. Uh, kind of unfortunate. Uh, I think the healing items kind of ruin ruin these games, especially when you can't use them. I know it adds to difficulty, but it's just kind of annoying. Um, so I swap back into Shedinja uh, to eat the counter and uh, go for another Confuse Ray. He's confused again. Uh, and then I swap back into Machoke and go for a Revenge, and that ends it. I probably could have done that a little bit earlier, but I didn't think to do that. Um, it goes for Belly Drum. It only knows normal type attacks, so I know it can't hit me. Uh, so all I have to do is basically just scratch it to death, which takes a few turns, but it literally can't do anything to me, so it doesn't really matter. So there's Norman. So from here, I head over to New Mauville in order to get the Thunderstone, so that way I can evolve my Eevee into a Jolteon, because I feel like having a good electric type is really good. Um, I put included this just because I thought this was just so dumb. Like really can't escape three times in a row I have to switch to another Pokemon that's faster to run like come on that's ridiculous so I get the Thunderstone I evolve my Eevee and now I have my Jolteon so uh, he's gonna be a new member of the team I go on the next route catch a Wingle not really gonna use him Tropius also probably not gonna use him um, 
onto the weather institute uh the aqua admin uh don't even bother healing here i just figure jolteon can just sweep and he can he's very good um and then after this i get offered a cast form which i take on to the next May battle. So May has a Lombre here. I figure I can take it out with uh, a Thunderbolt or two, uh, just because the power is so high. Uh, for here, I know it's probably going to be a ground type attack. So um, you know, I'm I'm thinking about maybe going into Shedinja, but I don't want to risk it. So I come in here and I figure I can just brutalize it, which I kind of can. Um, I kind of was playing the odds there, leaving him in. But it ended up coming out alright, and then I switch into Lapras and hit it with a Surf, and we're good. Um, so then on the next route after Fortree, I catch an Absol, who would be good in other games, but isn't good in this game. Um, and then onto Winona. So here I can basically just have Jolteon sweep everything, um, except for the Altaria. I know this is going to be an Earthquake, but I can come in here. Um, and hit it with an Ice Beam, and luckily it doesn't do any damage to me, so that's good. Uh, Tropius, Ice Beam, destroyed. Um, and then next up is Pelipper, which I have Thunderbolt for, which is really handy, so he's destroyed, and then same with Skarmory. Um, that takes two Thunderbolts because he's a little bit bulkier, but yeah, so that's Winona done. Uh, I go on to catch a Shuppet in Mount Pyre, and then uh, this is kind of the beginning of the end. So a Wobbuffet comes out, and I forgot that this guy had a Wobbuffet. And uh, it's funny because in my last run, uh, my Lapras also died to a Wobbuffet at the seventh gym. So I think Lapras is just cursed. Um, I have to think if I can one-shot it. Um, I'm, I'm checking my stats, and then I'm also checking Wobbuffet's base stats. So that way I can kind of guess uh, which is going to do the mo do more because if I hit it and it uses Destiny Bond, then I don't have anything uh, to kind of stall for the Destiny Bond, and I can't switch out. So if I don't get a one shot here, it's basically game over, and Lapras is dead. Um, game over for Lapras, not game over in general. But I figure, well, Surf is going to do more. It uses Destiny Bond. And, uh, you know, I am not very happy. Uh, while this was going on live, I was just screaming, No! No! I can't believe this! Or something along those lines. I forget what I said. But I was very, very unhappy. Right now, I'm just kind of stalling. Uh, you know, I'm trying to switch, even though, <laughs> even though it knows it has Shadow Tag, which prevents switching. I'm like, fine, whatever. And uh, Lapras is dead. So there are actually two po two trainers that have Wobbuffets, I believe, in this um, in this uh, Mount Pyre area. I like going up here so I can get the Shadow Ball TM. It's really useful for the Elite Four and then also for the Seventh Gym. Um, missing Fly, getting hit. You know, it it it's just really unlucky here. And then to make things worse, I come into here, uh, the Magma Hideout. I try and catch this, and it self destructs and kills my Jolteon. Uh, that was kind of a lack of planning. I should have been able to predict that, but yeah. So then we go and go talk to Maxi. He wants to battle us. I'm a little bit under leveled because I keep forgetting what level his guys are at, but it shouldn't be too hard if I get semi decent luck. So he swaggers me, which means I got to switch because if not, I'm dead. He super potions. Um, I dragon breath, get the para paralyze and knock out the Mighty Ina, so that's good. This, I know is gonna be like a Rock Slide or something, because um, it knows Rock Slide, which is super effective. I get it to flinch. The Surf doesn't knock it out, but it knocks itself out with the recoil from the takedown. Then comes Crobat, and Crobat is just wonderful. Um, everyone loves Crobat um, until you have to face it. And I hit myself in Confusion, hit myself in Confusion again. Extremely unlucky. But, you know, what am I supposed to do here? I don't really have a good switch in to a wing attack. Um, I, you know, have to switch somewhere else or just sack the, the bayonet. Um, so, you know, I'm thinking about going into Alakazam because I think it could probably outspeed in one shot. Um, but it cannot outspeed. So, um, I guess I could have 
calc that with uh, with like a, a stat calc calculator damage thing uh, to see if I would outspeed. But yeah, we basically just get destroyed and lose all the Pokemon because um, uh, well, miss the fly, five percent chance to miss there. That's just wonderful. Uh, but yeah, so you know, we we just get no luck here and end up wiping. So that's the end of run eight. Um, run nine is already being recorded, so keep an eye out for that. But you know, that's gonna end things for this run. So I hope you enjoyed. Not the outcome we wanted, but we'll see you in the next one.